Okay. Thank you, Adam, for venturing all the way up to the Upper West Side. Oh, you're welcome. And Strat Small. Thank you. Well, you're here like every day. Yeah, but I have to come from the Upper East Side. <laughs> but when was, that, you were, when was the last time you were on the West Side? Probably don't venture up here often. A days ago. Really? Yeah. Wait, where do you live? I live in the village. I live, oh, yeah, right, I live in, like, right in the village. Okay. Yeah, right by Astor Place. But you guys know each other. Yes. You guys yeah. met before. We met through uh, Jeff Frost. Jeff Frost, yeah. Okay. Yeah, he brings people together. Okay, you, he is. He's like a, a binding force in the universe. Yes. You, you just, wouldn't think it, but You yeah. just met him from the downtown scene. Jeff and I met years ago. He had done a movie called Patriot Act, and uh, I think I met him through Saget, and... Yeah. Uh, I went to see, he asked me to come see Patriot Act at a first screening of it, like they had at the comedy festival years ago, and it was mm -hmm. it was really good. Um, and then we showed it at my house. We had a movie night at my house, and we showed Patriot Act there, and he and I became really good friends. This is, I don't know how long ago. We did a USO tour together. Okay. Nice. It was like me, Colin Kane, Sarah Tiana, Jeff, Stewie Stone as the, uh, as the MC, and Robert Klein. Wow. So it was like five funny people, and... Me, who can only play the most miserable songs we have. <laughs> That's the only ones I can still play on piano because I don't remember how the rest of them go. But, uh, how so often I, did you do movie night? What'd you say? How often did you do movie night? Do you still we do used that? to do it every week. Oh, it hasn't anymore. been as much lately. You was know? that tour in the Middle East? No, this one was... Uh, oh, yeah, it was in the, the States. The, the hospitals. No, it went to Germany. Oh, okay. Like Ramstein and right. the, the hospitals around there. It was for mm -hmm. a lot of people that were... Uh, you know, the, after when they get injured, that's where they fly everyone to. So right. it was for a lot of sort of disabled uh, veterans and people mm -hmm. who are really going through some rehab. Wow. Mm -hmm. um, but it was fun. It was like a weird camp for a few days. I did a movie with the Broken Lizard guys, and it was a lot like that, just oh. spending two months or three months with those guys, mm -hmm. spending a week with uh, the guys over in Germany. It was just like going to camp with funny, you know. Yeah, what, is it, was there a difference between hanging out with comics on that tour and musicians? Less drugs. <laughs> Less drugs with the musicians, yeah. No, less drugs with the <laughs> comics. You know y'all always holding. <laughs> uh, come on, I don't, I don't know a comic who's not stoned. Oh, yeah, we stay stoned. You're right. <laughs> Pretty much. It's like a constant thing. Y'all got hotter groupies, though, too. Let's keep that real. That's also true, yeah. Yeah, very <laughs> true. It's been, it's been a good life. Yeah. <laughs> and where you grew up where? Uh, well, all over, born on the East Coast, then Texas. Uh, and then Northern California, like San Francisco, Berkeley, Oakland. I grew up in Oakland and Berkeley. How much time you spent in Texas? Uh, about five years when I was young. Was that like that. a weird transition from the East to for a Jewish kid? Well, it was weird because I'd been born in Baltimore, and then we moved to Boston when I was about three uh, for my dad to go for his internships because he was in medical school. And that's going from one of the worst accents in the world to another, let's say, fairly strong accent right. from Baltimore to Boston. Yeah, know? yeah. <laughs> and I, I, you know, I was speaking pretty early, so I was desperate. Not to sound like I was from Baltimore, so <laughs> right. I, I, I worked myself into a kind of Kennedy Fuhrer very okay. quickly, and then we moved right down to Texas. My dad had to get in the Army during Vietnam, and mm -hmm. he was stationed in El Paso, and it was an even faster shift down there just to avoid getting the shit kicked out of me. Are you an only child? No, no, my little sister, but she was really young. Right. So then we were in Texas for about four or five years. They used um, to be jazz down there? What'd you say? Did you get chased around down there when you first moved in? It was just a little weird at first because I sounded pretty weird. Right. You know, but uh, I think I liked it a lot. You know, it's the first place I remember. You know, when you're a kid, there's those years where you just, you don't do things unless you're with your parents. Yeah. And then at a certain age, you go wander off and do shit. And right. I got to Texas for first grade, and it was that time, like, the first time I remember being off on my own. It's, you know, El Paso's just desert, you know. It's... <laughs> You know, a lot of spiders and snakes and shit like that. I, it's the first time I remember reading it on my own. Right. And uh, so I really loved it. I loved El Paso. I didn't like Houston so much when we got there. Okay, what was wrong? What was Houston? What was the difference? That's the worst the city? of Texas. It's just big belt, big hat, big car, <laughs> big steak, big, 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 and it's all in the city. And how old yeah. were you when you moved to Berkeley? Ten. Ten about years about old. Like that, yeah. I think. Okay. That's when you started playing music? No, that's when I moved to, we moved to Oakland and I was ten. Um, I started playing music, I started kind of late. I mean, I was in some bands when I was about 12 or 13, right. but they're just, you know, they're just cover bands. I didn't write my first song, I think, until freshman, fall term of college. You played an instrument when you were 12? Shitty. Um, I played bass in my first band, which is a mystery to me today, because I have no idea how to play <laughs> bass. And I can't believe I ever did, but I know I did. I played bass and I sang. Uh... But we're just doing, like, you know, our parents would buy each of us, they offered to buy, like, 
a songbook for each of us. So we just picked the biggest ones. We got the Beatles, the Stones, and Zeppelin because mm-hmm. they're a lot of stuff. You got a lot more, of songs. Yeah, you got more bang for your buck on those. So that's all we did, really. And you come with all those songs. We would play it. I mean, we play in friends' bar mitzvahs and stuff. And this was all in the Bay Area. That's in the Bay Area. What yeah. do your parents think? What when did they per- think of when that? You first started playing music. Not See, no son of, of mine. Of shits <laughs> playing. They they're both doctors. To, they yeah. were in it. You know, they're like both doctors, sort of Jewish intellectual types. They they, they thought that was cool. Okay. Yeah. But we were probably fucking adorable in a really shitty way that you don't want to be. <laughs> Thirteen years old playing at people's bar mitzvahs at some break in the middle.